everyone, this is Amy with Ketolicious Life. Welcome back to my channel. I am back in the kitchen chaffling again, and today I'm going to be making a copycat Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuit. If you guys have ever been to Red Lobster, you know that their cheddar biscuits are absolutely to die for. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna add one egg in my bowl. Whisk that up really well. I'm gonna add one, or excuse me, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna use a pinch of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of sour cream. and about one tablespoon of butter. We're gonna go ahead and mix this together really well. And then we're gonna add, and I grated my own medium cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add a nice handful, which is probably about, uh, I'd say half a cup. We're gonna just kinda add that in and stir that around. I totally did this backwards. I meant to add in my almond flour first. So when you make these, do your almond flour before your cheese. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of super fine almond flour. And just go ahead and mix that in. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt anything. You're just basically stirring these ingredients together anyway. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our chaffle. Now if you want a crispier chaffle, you can of course put your cheese down first and go that route. I'm gonna try it both ways and see which way I like it better. So we're gonna go ahead and add our first amount without cheese. Just gonna spread that around. It already smells amazing. All right, I'll let that cook. All right, so here's our first chaffle biscuit. It looks delicious. So my next one, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some cheese first and go ahead and try to get a a little bit of a crunchy consistency. I'll put a little more cheese on the top there. And let's let that one cook. Meanwhile, over on my stove, I have some Jimmy Dean hot pork sausage uh, frying that is cooking now. So in a minute I will take you over there and show you how to make your pork gravy to go on top of our delicious biscuits, chaffles, biscuit chaffles, chaffle biscuits, <laughs> whatever you wanna call them. Yum, that's what I call them. I'm so hungry. This garlic smell, the, cr the sour cream in here is making this for a very moist, but you can kind of see the inside. It's cheesy and just delicious. So I cannot wait to taste these. All right, so over here in my pan, I have my sausage cooking away. Um, this is Jimmy Dean hot pork sausage. I did season this with a little bit of garlic salt and pepper and I'm just going to let this get nice and brown and cooked all the way through and then we will add in um, some xanthan gum and some heavy cream to thicken it up and we'll be pretty much ready to go with our delicious gravy. I'm so excited, so hungry. All right, so our pork sausage is nice and cooked. We are going to reduce our heat down to probably about medium, medium low. And we're gonna go ahead and pour in 
our heavy cream. Now I just eyeball it. Um, you're gonna be looking, I had to finish off that container. I need to open this next one. You're gonna be looking at about a cup of heavy cream. I'll pour in a little more. And now we're just gonna stir this all around. Get everything combined. And now is where you definitely can flavor your gravy, add more salt, more pepper, add garlic, whatever you like in your gravy. I'm pretty simple. The, the Jimmy Dean sausage is already pretty flavorful in my opinion, so I don't usually feel the need to add too much more. So the last step, this is so easy, is we're going to add just a sprinkling of xanthan gum all over the top and let it thicken up. So let me grab that. I'm just gonna sprinkle xanthan gum all over the top here. This is about a, let's see, what is this? A quarter of a teaspoon um, that I am using. Let's go ahead and stir this in. Turn my heat down a little bit more. I'm gonna sprinkle in another quarter of a teaspoon. I'm trying to get the grip here. I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. I need to put that in a shaker because typically you want to stir it in or sprinkle it in. So it, it xanthan gum would be great in like a a shaker of some kind. So now we're just going to let this cook and thicken. And then just, you know, add in a quarter of a teaspoon at a time of your xanthan gum until you feel that it is thick enough, as thick as you would like it. It's looking pretty thick. So that was a total of a half of a teaspoon. If you want it even thicker than this, you know, I'd add another quarter of a teaspoon. But half a teaspoon seemed pretty good. And you got to give it a few minutes to thicken. It takes about five minutes. Just let it, let it thicken. It works really, really well. All right, I'm going to go plate this up and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so our recipe made four chaffles. So I'm gonna put two chaffles. I think I like the one that's not crispy, so I'm gonna do two non-crispy chaffles. And let's get our gravy. You see how nice and thick this gravy got? I'm gonna pile on a nice, generous scoop of my gravy, and there it is. Keto biscuits and gravy, chaffle biscuits and gravy, red lobster cheddar chaffle, copycat. So I am so ready to dig in. Sorry, I'm not going to show my face on camera because I look like a mess, but I'm going to taste it. Mmm. So stinking good you guys you've got to try it so i want to thank the subscriber that suggested making a lop red lobster cheddar biscuit i'm in love it is amazing and this was so fast and so easy to make so so easy to make you guys the only ingredient you would need is xanthan gum and honestly, if you didn't have xanthan gum, you could get away with not even thickening it because the heavy cream is so thick anyway, you really could get away with it. So there you have it. It is so delicious, and I'm going to go eat every bite of this. 
Okay, Ava smelled it and came mm -hmm. in the kitchen and now she wants some. So I told her she has to taste test it. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that good? Oh yeah. She likes my savory chaffles the best. Yeah, if it has the filling on it, it tastes exactly like a biscuits and gravy. Yeah, and those chaffles biscuits are so yummy. Awesome. Okay, so do I have to make my own plate now? You sure do. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe. And leave me a comment down below, just a heart. Or just say hi. Let me know you watched all the way to the end. Thank you so, so much for all of your support on this channel. I appreciate it so very much. And I look forward to sharing my next chaffle recipe with you. We'll see you in the next one.